You know, as a police officer, I'm compelled to make this video. I've been in law enforcement for 10 years and I'm speaking to my peers, other fellow officers, people in any kind of law enforcement position. Um, I've seen officers nationwide enforcing tyrannical orders against the people. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's the minority of officers, but I'm not sure anymore because every time I turn on the television, every time I turn, I look to the internet, I'm seeing people arrested or cited for going to church, for traveling on the roadways, for going surfing, opening their businesses, going to the park with their families, um, or doing nails out of their, out of their own house, using their own house as a place of business and have an undercover agents go there and arrest them and charge them with, with what? With a crime? I don't, I don't know what crime people are committing by doing nails in their own house, but we're seeing this more and more and more. And uh, we need to start looking at ourselves as officers and thinking, is what I'm doing right? Now, I want to remind you that regardless of where you stand on the coronavirus, we don't have the authority to do those things to people just because a mayor or a governor tells you otherwise. Uh, I don't care if it's your sergeant or your chief of police. We don't get to violate people's constitutional rights because somebody in our chain of command tells us otherwise. It's not how this country works. Um, those are de facto arrests. You know, we're violating people's rights and, and, and taking money from them or even worse, arresting them and depriving them of their freedom when they are exercising their constitutional rights. So let's let's talk about that. Um, let's let's read something right here off of the Declaration of Independence. All men are created equal. Among these, 